the order copy has been accessed by times now in the jamia case today where the court has filed additional charges against sharji limam amongst others times now has the entire order copy and some portions suggest that the court has noted that though sharjeel's counsel had contended that he was at jamia at 7:30 pm much after the violence the second supplementary charge sheet filed by the police mentions that sharjeel had given a provocative speech at jamia milia islamia on the 13th of december 2019 my colleague nilashish now joins us for more details nilashish earlier also you were saying that some very scathing observations came in from the court where they said that uh, freedom of speech is not not uh, applicable to violent speeches and people like sharjeel imam were leading the mob tell us in the order what more details can you find about their role in the riots we have very very scathing observations as you were pointing out uh, let me if i can read out from the order copy in itself the court has said that though the right of freedom of expression cannot be criminalized the threat to life of others and public and private property preventing public servants from doing their duty the actions of violence and damaging property will clearly attract criminal law the student community is not a different group in itself who enjoys any extra right in this regard but being citizens of india they have equal right to freedom of speech and expression and protest as all other citizens of the country but in this case the police was being targeted by pelting stones as there is no confusion about rights of the individuals to express themselves and to assemble lawfully or for lawful purposes however the assembly of such persons cannot be permitted to violate laws of the land the court goes on to say priya that the students therefore knew that they were trying to violate the law by insisting on moving towards the area and breaking barricades and putting property on fire pelting stones at the spot of the jamia area protest by violent means can never be part of a democracy so of course very very scathing lines right. uh, scathing observations coming in here from uh, the delhi right. high and court right and remember wherein, these are the very oh, same people who had become late motifs of the voices of dissent which several people who were part of the so called ecosystem had said that voices are being suppressed and today we have known the actual nature of those uh, voices madhav they were trying to incite mobs and even leading them Well, yes, and in fact, uh, this is very important because I'm just going to read out from the order that was accessed by Nilashree. He says the said speech indicates that Sharjeel Imam is named very much here. I had stated that they were distributing pamphlets regarding protests. Further, that he himself talked about destruction and said that those who are protesting should know what they should do for peace and should be ready to take blows of lattes. He can clearly be seen instigating the mob. Very important, instigating the mob, preparing them for further action. And he says that on 13, 12, 2019, there were 3,000 to 4,000 persons gathered. at the spot as they be distributing pamphlets for the last two weeks and thus it can only be imagined as to how many people could gather on the day of juma next week it's thus clear that he had common intention so this is a very important charge of common intention and that he was part of the overall intent and object of the unlawful assembly this is what the court has very clearly observed they also have gone on to further say that further on 16 1 respondent number 8 had also delivered a provocative speech at aligarh muslim university wherein he had admitted about his presence at jam university on 13 12 2019 the relevant portion of the speech was has been reproduced over here and you can see what has mm. been said as far as that particular speech is concerned and they say that though the respondent is not seen at the spot in the video clip submitted by the prosecution he himself admits mm. to the same in a speech of 16 1 2020 that he was present at the spot the speech delivered by him on the evening of 13 12 2019 is also part of the charge sheet which is not been disputed by him goes on to talk about the cdr location of his right. mobile phone which points to his presence at the spot so extremely damning as far as sharjeel is concerned when it comes to this particular order and very clearly of course uh, going by what the charge sheet has said and upholding what has been found at the moment at least by the police right a lot of explaining needs to be done right now in this matter when the court says that they were a part of first line of the mob consciously present at a place where violence was breaking out thank you madhav anilashish for joining me